Okay, welcome uh, to the water cube. Can you um, quickly just say who you are and uh, show me the, yes. the name tag? Um, so my name is Sophie Tremollet. I'm a consultant in the water sector and I work on water and sanitation financing and economic aspects in particular, uh, particularly looking at sanitation financing uh, over the last few years. Okay, great. And um, I mean, what exactly does that mean? What are you coming here to talk about? So here I'm coming to a, I'm running two sessions, uh, which are both looking at financing of sanitation in particular. Um, one is looking at it from a sort of market structure angle, so how uh, financing can be channeled to the various actors, the utilities and the small scale providers. And what we're arguing is that uh, donors should take quite a comprehensive look at the value chain when they're uh, structuring their projects looking at how markets are organized on the ground to decide where the optimal sort of intervention should go into and whether or not they can try and influence, you know, together with the governments, of course, uh, the way these markets are organized. Uh, so, for example, you know, should a utility be just dealing with network sewage or should it also get involved in on-site sanitation? Uh, but probably more from a point of view of supervision or capacity building of providers of on-site sanitation services. Um, so what does that mean in terms of you know, actual finance uh, mechanisms? I mean, what are we looking at? What kind of well, I mean, solutions from are the being point proposed? Of view of I mean, I understand that yeah. it's contextual, but just I mean, get a donors, idea. Uh, donors and development banks have yeah. a real problem on their hands because they, you know, they want to finance more sanitation projects, but they don't necessarily know how to structure the pro those projects. The times of you know, going in and financing a, a sewage network together with a, a sewage treatment plants, you know, on a massive scale dealing with this one single operators. Those times are kind of gone or haven't arrived yet in certain circumstances. So, you know, for example, we're looking at Bamako. Bamako has 2% sewage coverage. It has no utility in place which deals with, you know, sanitation. It has a utility that looks at water, but there's, you know, we have a blank slate in a way. Um, so how does a donor like AFD or KFW then structure a project which delivers the maximum benefit? Mm -hmm. um, at the moment on the table they've got a master plan which you know, sets targets for expanding sewage connections you know, to 50% mm -hmm. um, within a few years, which is mm -hmm. clearly unrealistic. Especially when we don't even know what the finance mechanism is. Exactly, and it's, you know, it's a huge cost, it's not cost efficient, okay. it's not something that you know, they, they should actively pursue and they recognize that. So what is the alternative? You know, is it that you establish a, an agency which deals with a much smaller part of the market and then organizes small scale providers, which at the moment are very sort of chaotic and not well structured, very informal? Um, or do you, you know, how, how do you approach that, um, that issue is, is what we want to sort of... So we're developing a diagnostic tool effectively for designing sanitation projects in a more comprehensive manner. But then we're never we're going to get away from yeah. the fact, especially you know, in, in cities like Bamako, that we mm. can't expand sewage at such a rate. Right. So if, we want, if a donor wants to channel funding for on-site sanitation, it has to deal with households, with small-scale entrepreneurs, and these are not typical interlocutors. So where, where can people find this information? <laughs> well, it's it's ongoing. Uh, we've got some work which is. Um, well, we we're gonna have to wrap up soon. So yeah. Where, where um, is there a place online? There's my website uh, where you can have more information on that. It's okay. uh, www.tremolet.com. Okay. Uh, where I put sort of you know publications and uh, ongoing yeah. work as and well. And the diagnostic. The diagnostic the, tool it, that will be ready yeah. for uh, Marseille, but it's ongoing with launching um, sort of case studies where we're going to test that tool and, and sort of the approach um, in four countries, in, uh, in Mali, in Uganda, in uh, Burundi and um, in Ghana, uh, so all in Africa. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm working though. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs>